know, actually, um, I had an earlier book of short stories called One Day I Lost My Flat in Seoul City. Um, it appeared long back in 1995, and then there was an um, enlarged and revised edition that appeared in 2001. Now, after that, I wrote short stories, you know, um, but there weren't enough for a full-fledged book because I was, you know, writing novels and uh, queer theory and all of that. So there were not that many short stories. So then I thought that uh, what do I do with these new short stories? They're not enough for, for a book. So perhaps I should take um, the best short stories from the earlier book and club them with these new short stories and uh, publish a book called New and Selected Stories. So that is how it came about. There are eight stories from One Day I Lost My Flat in Seoul City, you know, which are uh, um, very, you know, I, I like them. They're uh, my favorite stories. Um, in fact, that book got translated into Italian as well. And one of the stories appeared in London Magazine. <laughs> Oh, that's an interesting question and uh, <clears throat> you know Raja Rao uh, was a famous novelist he was born in 1908 and uh, he lived in India and then in the United States and he died at the age of 98 you know. um, now my name R. Raj Rao of course uh, you know happens to be semantically quite similar to the name Raja Rao um, but um, for years, you know, the Raja Rao has been uh, plaguing me in that uh, people come up to me and say, Oh, are you Raja Rao? And, uh, you know, sometimes it uh, it goes to ridiculous length because they bring a novel of Raja Rao, say Kantapura or The Serpent in the Rope, and they ask me to autograph it and so on. And uh, um, so I thought that, uh, you know, I've written in the past about this, about uh, how we are... Um, not careful about names and uh, you know how one can't see the difference between Raj Rao and Raja Rao. Mm -hmm.